right, friends. This one, I think, is a watch to fix. So, we'll see. I don't think it's new. I think this is more a fixture. Oh, there's a tag. Ooh, it is new-ish. Yeah, well, that actually hasn't been worn. Okay, I guess it just doesn't have a bag. All right. Very nice. Let's watch this video. All right, guys, well, <clears throat> you know how I am about uh, Ingersoll, so I apologize for that video, but I can't help it. So I had this watch for a while. Um, you can actually see it's dead and I'll take care of that. But um, I had to look into why, why I had this, where I got it from, why it has a tag, but I don't have a box. So I seem to recall that um, the person I bought this from, the seller, it was gray market seller, he sold this watch uh, to me without the box because he needed the box uh, for a used Ingersoll that he was going to resell. I guess he felt that this watch didn't have enough value to even bother selling with the to, to bother even selling with the box, and he used the box for a different watch. Personally, I love these watches. Uh, this watch is brand new, and I'm going to keep it. It's not valuable enough for me to sell. Um, and uh, I really like this watch style. This is what's called a, a Tano uh, style, which is kind of like a tank, tank watch. Um, would not be considered a, a pillow, um, a pillow top or uh, necessarily uh, a true tank watch, but it's, um, ooh, could use a little bit of buff in there. Yeah, it is new. Um, nice uh, calfskin black leather watch strap with Ingersoll um, you know stamped on there uh, matching buckle this is from when Ingersoll first started to increase the quality of their watches this is from 2014 
Um, and you know, the, the watch has just only got better from here. I would say the, the real quality Ingersolls were built after, what would I say, probably probably 20, 2017 really is, is, is when they got significantly better. I think that's even when they increased their, um, their warranty to, uh, I think it was a lifetime warranty actually. This one only has a two year warranty on the Japanese movement, which I don't know yet what it is, but I will, um, I will post a picture of that when I take it apart, put the warranty up here so you can kind of see it. It's a two year warranty and it's out of their, their Virginia, um, you know, uh, I guess service center. But before I go any further, I am going to go ahead and take this apart and I will fix it. So. All right, so it's working now, you can see. Uh, and I'll put a picture up here on the right so that you don't have to focus on my shaky hands, but um, it's working quite well. Uh, I probably will put it in the buffer a little bit, um, I'm not gonna do it right now, but it's uh, just a little bit, needs a little bit of polishing there. Um, but very nice, just gonna talk about the design again, it's Roman numerals with a raised uh, numeric uh, band there with a sub second and uh, black briquet hands which is very vintage it's a very vintage styling uh, obviously it's a newer watch 2014 uh, my opinion is just really an absolutely fantastic watch um, I really like this watch this is a very nice just simple business watch um, looks elegant doesn't really uh, it's not too flashy, but it's got, got some presence. I'll put it on too, just so you can kind of see. It's not a very, it's not an overly expensive watch, but it looks good. I mean, it, it really does. Um, and I'll do the measurements. I have uh, seven and a half inch wrists. Um, this watch uh, retailed for $219.95, which is pretty good. Uh, I have not seen them anywhere anymore, so. These are pretty much all gone, sold, and it's not a current model. Um, but it, it absolutely is fantastic. So the movement is a uh, uh, an SII, uh, and I'll put pictures of it up there. Uh, I ended up replacing the battery, which was an SR626 with a, uh, a newer uh, Maxwell, um, or Maxell. I used, call, I used to call it Maxwell, I can't really tell. But I know that they used to make floppy disks back when I was a kid. So, I mean, like all the games used to come on Maxwell floppies and that just meant quality. So it's, I assume it's uh, the same for the, the batteries. Um, there's no loom. Again, this is sort of just a day watch. Uh, it does have three ATM. Uh, so, you know, also when I took it apart, I don't, I didn't really show it, but uh, there is a gasket. So there is some water resistance there also in the crown. Uh, Crown's very nice too. It's sort of a, a little, little design. I don't know what you'd really call it, but uh, it does have three ATM, um, three atmospheres. Uh, you know, I wouldn't shower with it, that's for sure. I generally wouldn't shower with anything more than five ATM, but you know how hard it is to just take your watch off. You don't want to fall in a pool with it. This is pretty much like you can wear it and then maybe, um, uh, how would I say? You can do the dishes and then not have to worry about it getting ruined. Um, the crystal is quite nice. I don't know if it really shows, but it is it is beveled and matched very well to the case. Um, it, that's one of the coolest features of this. I, I really kind of love the distortion that it provides while still giving it sort of a, a presence, a very wide face. I'll do the measurements right now. Case width is 38.5. Depth is nine, and lug width is 26, or the band width, I should say, and then the lug width is center to center, I'll say 43. Uh, probably not too much weight, um, not a whole lot going on with it. I'm gonna say maybe 60. Oh, turned off. Let's see. Now I gotta start. Okay. 55. Good, even 55. All right, well, 
it's a short one. I like this watch a lot. Um, I'm going to wear it. Honestly, I really like it. Be nice if it was mechanical. I mean, imagine this is a mechanical watch. It'd be pretty fantastic. But um, anyways, just wanted to show it to you guys um, because I liked it and I'm kind of starting to go through my watches. Before I buy too many new ones, I've still got like 30 watches that I need to get through. So, but keep, keep your suggestions coming and I will start buying some more watches, but I got to get through these first. I'm also going to be putting a bunch up for sale. Um, I'm pretty much going to be selling them at cost whenever I can get around to actually doing it. So uh, if you like this, uh, subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more. And I appreciate it. Thank you very much.